on your media course, you will analyze different media products. But there are a number of different ways you can format your analysis. The most traditional way of doing a film or media analysis is to do it as an essay or report with screenshots. So if you're writing in paragraphs with a clear introduction, middle section and a conclusion. The second most common approach is to do a PowerPoint analysis where you'll have an image on the right, on the left, and then you have your text in another box. So for my example, I've got an analysis of a low angle shot. I've got a picture of that shot and I've got my analysis in text. And if I just go to the next slide, so I have another analysis, so this time color. So I've got two images and I've also got my writing. Now, if you're wondering how I did these designs, if I click on design ideas, then PowerPoint will generate some ideas for you and you can pick what you like. Now to do a video essay using PowerPoint, what I'd recommend you do is on each slide you just have images only. You do not put any text on the slide because you're going to be talking anyway, so you don't want text as well. And we're going to do audio recording. So if I click on audio and go to record audio, you'll get this button here. Now if I click to start recording, it will start recording and you can see my voice. And if I stop, it will say discard or insert. So if I say, for example, I want that sound, I press insert and there it is, it appears right there. So to record your audio on the PowerPoint, you can do a number of options. So if you're using a laptop, it probably has a mic already built in. That would be good enough to use for a video essay. Or you could use a USB mic, which plugs straight into the computer or you can have a mic which plugs into the mic ports or you could use your smartphone headphones which will have a mic attached to it so any of these options are fine for when doing a video essay on PowerPoint. So what I'd recommend you do is just to write some bullet point notes in the notes part here so to help you when you do your recording. So for example let's have a go so if I click to start recording the director uses a low angle shot. This is where the camera is filmed from below and this makes the singer look more dominant against the antagonist. And I'll insert that recording and there we go. So I've done a recording for this single slide. So I'm not doing the entire analysis in one go. I'm doing slide by slide. And if I don't like what I've done, I can just delete it. I can click start. And I can go again. Moving on to my next slide and like before I have some bullet point notes just to help me as I do my analysis. So I'm going to start recording and I'm going to have a go at doing this. The main character has a white t-shirt. This suggests that he is pure. He is full of hope because he is the protagonist and this is a common technique to use for protagonists. While the antagonists they're dressed in black which suggests they are evil and corrupt. And behind the singer is a colour red. This symbolises his anger towards the oppression by these riot police. And then I'm going to insert my recording and there it is. If you've finished all your audio recordings, you need to export this PowerPoint as a video file. So if I go to File and go to Export. Now where it says file format, it will give me the option to do a MP4 or a movie file. So I'm just going to do MP4. And if, if I press export and it will convert this into a video file, which may take a few minutes depending on how big your PowerPoint is. Okay, so here is the exported PowerPoint as a video essay. So let's press play. The director uses a low angle shot. This is where the camera is filmed from below and this makes the singer look more dominant against the antagonist. The main character has a white t-shirt. This suggests that he is pure, he is full of hope because he is the protagonist and this is a common technique to use for protagonists. While the antagonists they are dressed in black which suggests they are evil and corrupt. And behind the singer is a colour red. This symbolises his anger towards the oppression by these riot police. Now if you want to take it further, you could import that video into some editing software and you can add music if you want to and you could also add video clips like this. 
The main character has a white t-shirt. This suggests that he is pure, he is full of hope because he is the protagonist and this is a common technique to use for protagonists. While the antagonists are dressed in black which suggests they are evil and corrupt. In the links below are other videos to help you in analysing different media products.